Hi everyone, Eric at Retro Handheld Guides, and today I'm going to be revisiting PSP emulation on the MiU A30 with Spruce OS version 1.4.2. Spruce OS is the most promising operating system for the MiU A30 so far as it fixes a lot of the default settings on the device which cause poor emulation performance at release. Spruce has the standalone PPSSPP emulator, so we should see better performance over the RetroArch core that I was using when I first tested PSP on this device. Overall, PSP is definitely a stretch on the MIUI A30. While I did see some improved compatibility and performance using Spruce, getting any PSP game to run smoothly should be considered a bonus. Spruce has set the maximum clock speed for PSP emulation by default, and as a result, the device does get quite warm after about 10 minutes of PSP gameplay. Additionally, after 30 minutes, the MIUI A30 started to become unstable and randomly crash out of games, and at one point completely locking my device to the point where I had to pull the battery in order to restart. With that said, if you really want to try some PSP games in very short play sessions on the MIUI A30, I provided my best settings after the title card. So, let's revisit PSP gameplay on the MIUI A30 with the latest version of Spruce OS. So first we're just going to take a look at the setup that I have in PPSSPP for this particular device. Uh, one thing that I do always is go into the settings and just make sure for the graphics we have it at the lowest resolution, which in this case is 1x resolution. Uh, we have full screen and vSync off, and I noticed that I'm going to have to enable frame skip for pretty much all of the games that I'm playing. So I've set the frame skip to 1 with an auto frame skip. If we come down to the speed hacks, I almost always enable the uh, skip GPU readbacks and the uh, lazy textures, set the spline curves to low, and then if we go down a little bit further, I generally find that the, the anisotropic filtering is set to uh, 16x, so I turn that off as well. And then just for my testing, I turned on the FPS and the speed counters. Now, one thing that I do as well for these low-end devices is if you come into the system settings, uh, the first thing I noticed actually was I tried to play the games on Spruce was that it did not automatically have a memory stick inserted, so you'll probably want to enable that if you want to do any sort of saves. Uh, so that's how you enable the memory stick if you can't save when you start playing these games. And then as we come down into the emulation area, I've changed the emulated clock speed to default to 111. Uh, this is, again, kind of a hack for these low-end systems to try and squeeze as much power out of it as possible. So I've set that to 111 uh, from the default of auto. Uh, your results may vary. It does slow down some games, but it also helps to uh, get some games to run, so maybe on a game-by-game -game basis. I've just set mine to uh, default to 111, and it seemed to be working okay. One thing that I did notice in this device as well under the default controls is that the uh, right and left bumpers were not mapped. So you'll want to do that under your controls and then just in control mapping, if you go over to your left and right, just make sure that you click the add button and then map those to your left and right buttons. Now, one thing that I did notice on this device is if we take a look at the joystick, when I move the joystick around, you'll notice that it doesn't have any sort of granularity at all. It's just snapping directly to these directions. Uh, I couldn't figure out a way to change that at all. And that also means that this joystick is not really going to do you much good for those games that do require those granulated um, uh, directions. It's going to just act like a D-pad. So that does affect some of the gameplay for any of those games where you're going to require some specifics uh, for very precise control. So just keep that in mind when we're playing these games. Some games are going to be completely unplayable because of that. Uh, most games are going to be okay though. So that is pretty much my setup for the PPSSPP. Uh, let's take a look at some of the gameplay using the PPSSPP standalone emulator in Spruce OS. Agnes! 
Here's Fratisek Kaberle. He dumps the puck in. And he passes it ahead to Hemsky. Rifles the shot. Ward reached out for the puck. Chance to show them the results of your training. Go <laughs> no get them, Naruto. <laughs> Take a good look. I'm all grown up now. Anderson is in there and has himself a three-bagger. Polanco is up next. <laughs> 